want to edit it. And usually when I do video editing, it's fairly 2D. And today I would like to show you something how to do it much more 3D. So to do that, first, for instance, we have added some structure. So we have this, we have this triangle, and the triangle, they follow what's going on in the scene. Wow. And also I've done some rotoscoping beforehand because you don't want to see me doing that. But I've rotoscoped the main character as he walks back and forth. So let's change a bit. So I'll go back to the beginning. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to show that I specify the ground plane that we see here. And I can help the software by doing some modeling. So I'm going to show where are the columns. So for instance, here, 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 and the rest. So now I've shown everything where the 3D, and I'm going to do some computation. So it's going to crunch a few numbers, and while it's doing that, I have to tell you I'm running everything from a laptop. So sometimes it's a bit slow, but if we had a video workstation, everything would be real time. So let's say that I will show you some effect in slow motion so you see a bit better. So it's computing, it's soon will be done and I will show you a bit uh, what we can do once uh, we have analyzed uh, the structure of the column and of the ground. So what he's done is so he's told the video the different 3D shapes within the video. So now the program knows this isn't just a static image, it actually knows that those are 3D objects within the video. And now he'll be able to start editing and, and making the video really be aware that there's three dimensional in it. So let's go back here. Let me remove this information. So remember, I never moved the camera in the original footage. So, but now I know about the 3D, so I can do some cool effect. Like for instance, I can go inside the scene. What? Wow. I can look around. So of course there are some places I don't have information. But... Dude, dude, seriously, that's like Blade Runner. <laughs> Remember, they go on the photograph, and the woman with the snake charmer woman, and they see the scale on her. Do you remember? No? You didn't even see it? Oh. Oh, what a loser. You've got to see it, because you that's, that's it. This is so cool. Keep going. I can add my character back. So, I'm here. And so now I have my character. And let me see. So I can do something. So I can move this character around. And because I know it's 3D, I know when I go far away, it becomes small. And when I come back, it becomes, yeah, the right size. That's insane. That is seriously insane. I can also hide it behind the column, because I know there's a column here. And I can put it here, different places. But, you know, let's say I, I like it. Dude, you could make a lot of money from this program. <laughs> Who's going to make the money from this thing? I don't know. Well, I think we've got a good idea. <laughs> That's incredible. And, of course, I can do the same thing. I can move the camera while I play the video. So here it's a bit slow-mo, but it would be fast if I had, you know, a full workstation. So I can move back and forth, and now the second one coming in. Right? Yeah. And remember, I never moved the camera at the beginning. It was all on the tripod. That's ridiculous. that you're going to like that one too. Because I know about the 3D, so I can change some other parameters like depth of field, for instance. So now, let me go there. So I can change the aperture of my camera, for instance. Oh. <laughs> I can move the focus at a different place. Oh, I need to click here first. For instance, I can focus on the background, come back. That's wow. beautiful. So let me go a bit forward where things are a bit more interesting. So I, I play and I'm going to see my other, the other copy is going to appear soon. Here, so I can click here. And as it plays, I refocus. Go back to the background. Come back here. All in real time. Let me come back here. 
So, if you uh, like videos, you probably uh, like Alfred Hitchcock, and he had a very nice effect that he introduced to the community, which was the vertigo effect. So, let me show you a little bit of that. So that's really hard to do because we have to move the camera backward and change the focal length at the same time. But now we can all do it in software. So, mm -hmm. as the character moves, the camera is moving backward and change the focal length. They have this impression where the scene collapses onto itself, in the very same way that uh, Alfred Hitchcock was proposing. So that's it. So that's real time 3D editing on video. Thank you very much.